Copilot is a service that's offered by GitHub, which is a Microsoft property that uses OpenAI logic to help you write code. And I think it has some uses and some cases where it's really not very good. But the way that you use it is you can start writing a comment. So this is a common way. So if we say, let's write a function that takes two strings and returns a map with keys first and last. So it's kind of like a, you know, a name constructor on here and the values being the strings. Okay, very good, passed in. Okay, so it's recommending that and now it's recommending the function. And I actually did a decent job of writing this incredibly simple function uh, very well. Now. Uh, once I have things written in here, the nice thing is that it remembers them. So now it's saying, hey, you might want to write this other function. I didn't type this in. So I said, write a function that takes a map uh, with the keys first and last and returns a string with the first and last name. All right. So let's see if it comes up with anything there. So I've got hello map do map first map last so it's kind of you know this function will actually work the cool thing about this is that it did remember the structure that i was using before it remembered the keys i was using and that can be really really helpful when i'm writing a function like that this is one of the examples where it does really well now if i go to just try to write a new module from scratch I'm gonna say um, write a new a new module called new mod. That's good enough. That has a function called hello. Okay, so it's in familiar. It takes a string and returns a string with hello prepended. Okay, this is all stuff that it recommended. Um, let's see what it says. So it's like it's actually suggesting the prompts to me. And as you can see, and I just hit the tab key to accept that. As you can see, it actually wrote a module in Elixir. And uh, I can now add another function. Let's say if I just say, hey, write a goodbye function that and it's going to take a string and returns a string with goodbye prepended to the string passed in. So it it's aware of the function that it wrote before and it returns a new module. Now, if I take it into sort of some new territory, uh, so if I say write um, a function that takes a binary and returns a string, then, you know, it could do that as well. That's obviously like a single function, very, you know, and it's just implementing really one function within it. Um, so, you know, you, you can see that it does kind of some additional things to it. But the nice thing is that it's kind of given me these structures that keep it nice and consistent. Now, if I try to write a gen server, and if you're not familiar with that, you just check out the documentation on Elixir. But let's see, write a gen server that starts with a state of uh, first nil, last nil. And it's kind of, it's like, it's trying to figure out what I want to write. So like the idea um, is pretty good. So here it says, oh, and it has two functions. One function that takes a map with the keys first and last, that makes sense, and returns the state of the gen server. So that's really, you know, pretty uh, common thing we might want to do with a gen server. And the other function takes no arguments and returns the state of the gen server. Okay, typical things I might want to do with the gen server. Now, it's come down here and it's actually written a legit gen server. And this is kind of handy. You know, when I want to start with an empty gen server, there's, you know, the boilerplate that you can see it writing here. It kind of writes all that for me. And it's, it's pretty convenient. I, you know, I could copy and paste from a text file or something like that if I wanted to, but this is actually started out well. And it will write structs and it will do a couple of other things that are useful. But when I start to get very, very specific about things that I want to do, sometimes it will return code that's really not good. And the main limitation is that it's really stuck in the data of about two years ago. I feel like it's gotten a little bit better over the past month or so. For example, I asked it to write a module that uh, makes a call to an API 
and then outputs the return value from that API to the command line. And it used a very, very old version of Poison. And I probably would have not even chosen HTT Poison. I probably would have chosen Tesla or one of the other API facilities that it has. So it's not really, you know, giving me the best code and that can be a problem. It's handier when I actually have a problem that I want to solve and I go into the codex interface and start writing prompts and get it to give me some of that information. And I'll do a video on that pretty soon.